Hey everybody, today is Thursday, December 15th. No, Friday, Friday, not Thursday, Friday, December, December 15th, 2023. I almost forgot what day it was today. I forgot the uh, the weekend is pretty much here upon us. So um, what's, what's going on today? I, again, I've got a lot on my plate. I've got tons of stuff at home I have to do. So um, not a lot's going on today. I have to go to the post office to drop off some more packages. Actually, it's kind of a it's kind of a nice day out today for for December. It's going to be like 50 like 50 something degrees or 50 degrees today, which is kind of nice. I probably should have gone somewhere today, but um again, I've just got a lot on my plate and I have to go to the post office and I think I have some packages waiting for me there, so uh, we're just going to be doing some more thrifting, some more unboxing, some more stuff like that, which I know many of you are going to be happy to hear, but I don't like doing this many of the same type of videos in a row. Even if these videos do get a ton of views, I just don't like doing a whole bunch of the same exact type of video in a row because then it, it it's just not what I want to do. So anyway, but we're doing some more thrifting today and I think we're going thrifting tomorrow as well. So anyway, we're driving past it. We're going to check it out. We're going to check out the Phoenixville, Pennsylvania Goodwill. Yes, I was just in here literally uh, two days ago and I think I... I didn't find anything, right? I walked out completely empty-handed. It's gonna possibly be more of the same thing today. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if it's more of the same thing today, but we're driving past. Let's check them out. We gotta, we gotta drive past anyway. Why not pull into the parking lot and just quickly see what they have, if anything, at all. So who knows, maybe over the last two days they've restocked. Maybe today's the day where all that obscure horror and out of print Blu-rays and anime and things I actually need to pick up are finally here. All that stuff I was hoping was going to be here two days ago will finally be here today. You never, you never know. All right, anyway, let's go see what they have. Well, I can tell you this. I'm not entirely sure if they've actually gotten anything new in, but they've definitely been either picked through or um, they've rotated their stock and uh, there's not as much here as there was two days ago. Two days ago, these were completely, the rows were completely filled. Now, not um, not so much. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping maybe that means they've they've put they they they've taken some old stuff away. They've put some new stuff out. I'm just, I'm hoping. I'm gonna have to give my buddy Chris a uh, a call from Muppet Stuff to ask him about this. This may have been here two days ago, but I I missed over it because when you see the the spine, it doesn't really jump out at you. This is um, Keep Christmas with you. And honestly, I don't even know why I looked at this. Again, the spine is very, very just bland and doesn't really jump out, but I'm glad I picked it up because look at that. That is the Muppets right there. Yeah, Keep Christmas with you featuring Santino Fontana and the Muppets from Sesame Street. So it's, um, it's Christmas music being sung by I guess a choir with a with an orchestra and and a Muppets? That is really weird and bizarre. And I gotta say, I'm intrigued for only um, $1.99. It's brand new, it's factory sealed. I, I really don't know what this is. I, I'm i intrigued. I think I'm gonna actually end up picking this up. And like I said, I'll give my my buddy Chris from Muppet Stuff a call and, um, and ask him more information on this because I'm just, I'm curious. But either way, it's, it's Muppets. I, I th it, it, it's Muppets and it's Christmas, so I think I have to pick this up, right? If you guys have seen this, leave a comment down below. Yeah, for, for two bucks, it, it's Muppets, it's Christmas. I'm picking it up. I don't remember if this was here last time I was in the store or not. It's the, um, the 1964 World's Fair. This is a really cool DVD. I actually do already own this. I double checked to make sure this is the exact one I have. I don't know if they did other World's Fair DVDs. They, they probably did. They probably did other World's Fair DVDs, but um, I actually already have the 1964 World's Fair DVD in my collection. I've watched it. It's a fun, it's a fun DVD. I would recommend picking that one up. But like I said, I, I have it, so I don't, I don't need that. I'm thinking that might, ooh, I was going to say, I think that might about do it, but hold, hold on a sec. Okay, so I don't know if this was Goodwill that did this or the previous owner that did did this or, or what exactly is going on, but I kind of freaked out for a second. 
Pops, I found Black Adder Remastered, the Ultimate Edition. This is really cool. I actually have this in my collection as well for $3. This would be a fantastic pickup, but before I try to take the tape off to, um, to see how the discs are, look at that. The entire top has been taped over. The entire bottom has also been taped over. This thing is just loaded with a tape that's probably going to completely destroy the artwork. I'm gonna do my best to get that tape off because I, I really wanna see what the discs are like because even though I do already own this, I would totally pick this up for uh, my Bacardi store for only $3 if, again, the tape doesn't destroy everything. Wow, Goodwill, that was you? Please don't ever do that again. I don't I don't know why it's like, I, I, I honestly thought it was factory sealed for a second, but yeah, again, I don't know who did that, but that is, that is terrible. All right, wish me luck. I'm gonna try to try to get that tape off. All right, so the good news is I actually was able to get all the tape off of the Black Adder box set. It, it wasn't easy. It took me a good, like, I don't know, 10 or so minutes to carefully peel all that tape off. So I don't know, again, like I said, I don't know who did that, whether it was Goodwill or somebody before Goodwill, but um, the, the tape has been taken off and uh, the discs are actually in really good condition. So yeah, for, for $3, I'm picking this up. And the more I think about it, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Goodwill who uh, who put the tape on there because I just realized that the uh, the tape actually goes over top of the the Goodwill price tag. So yeah, I'm, I'm putting the blame on Goodwill. So, so Goodwill, what were you thinking? Why, why would you do that? Anyway, like I said, I got the tape off. It's in good condition for three bucks. I'm picking that up for the uh, for the store. That was insane though. And yes, I know because somebody out there saw this and will point it out, I did see the Even Stevens box one and box two sets. These are bootlegs. Even Stevens has never been released to DVD. Why Disney? Why have you never released this to DVD? Such a fantastic show and ugh. CCR, Christy Carlson Romano. Anyway, fantastic series. Like I said, never released a DVD. This is absolutely 100% a bootleg, but honestly for $3, if it's the complete series, probably not that bad of a, uh, a find, but I am going to end up uh, passing on this, even though I have been picking up more and more bootlegs as of recently. I don't know. It doesn't really look like it's going to be that good of a bootleg, probably low quality. The artwork doesn't look that fantastic. And I don't even know if it is the complete series or or just like season one, I have no idea. So I'm gonna pass on that. But again, I am picking up the uh, the Black Adder for my Macari store and the Keep Christmas With You DVD for for my collection. But um, I think that's gonna about, about do it for the, for the media section. Don't see anything else over there I wanna pick up. But again, this is why you always stop into the stores because yeah, you may have just been here two days ago. They may have not had anything you wanted two days ago, but that was two days ago. Today, two days ago was two days ago. Today is today. And um, they have stuff I want. So I'm happy I stopped in. This is interesting. I'm, I'm walking around the rest of the store just to see what they have. And I came across not one, but I don't know, 10 or more of these fax senders. The fax sender. What year do you think this is from? I, I checked the box. There is no, there is no date listed anywhere on here. So what year do you think the fax sender is uh, is from. This is interesting. Why so many of these? Where did they come from? I have a feeling that somebody just found a stack of these in the, the back of their warehouse and just dumped them here. That is interesting. And again, what, what year do you think those are from? I'm gonna say 90, 98. That's, that's what I'm going with. You leave your comments down below. And this right here is why you always, always look through the blue bins or the racks or whatever it is they use to put new merchandise out. As soon as they bring that stuff out that they haven't yet put out onto the floor, this is why you always immediately have to dive through it to see what exactly it is they're putting out because I just started to dive through this, um, this rack here and on it, I found this, a PlayStation 2 with two memory cards two controllers, all of its cords, and the the GameStar for only $19.99. I am absolutely picking this up. I don't really know if I'm necessarily grabbing it for um, for me. Probably not. I don't really play PlayStation games, but for um, for 20 bucks for for the store, I don't usually buy stuff like this. I usually keep it to um, 
to media, but it's a media player. So I, I am totally picking this up. I looked up to see what this goes for. And the answer is um, quite a bit more than, than only $20. <laughs> I, I now found a a complete a complete N64 here, and I have now found a complete PlayStation 2 here. Again, that's why you always always look through the the bins and the racks because you just you never know what it is. They haven't quite put out onto the floor yet. Twenty dollars for this. I'm happy now. Wow. So again, that. That really does just go to um, to show you. <laughs> you always gotta stop into the stores. I don't care if you were just there yesterday. I don't, I don't even care if you were just there five minutes ago. It's always worth just restopping back into stores because you might find some pretty cool DVDs and you might find a PlayStation, a complete PlayStation 2 for only $20. Again, that is that is an insane and an and 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 an amazing bind. I am just blown, blown away right now. Almost kind of speechless right now by that, by that find. If only it came with a bunch of like awesome games like Tony Hawk and uh, Silent Hill and, and whatnot. But you know what? I'll take it as, as is. Actually, probably better. It didn't come with games because had it come with games, I may have actually held on to it, and then I'd be a PlayStation collector. And I don't. I don't need to go down that road, but all right, guys, that's amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm, I'm freaking out right now. So, okay, that's gonna do it for the uh, for the Goodwill. Now on to the post office. Whew, I gotta I gotta calm down. I'm pretty excited. Okay, so I've calmed down a little bit about my um, about my PS2 find. I don't even know if it works, to be honest with you. I mean, I never I never tested it out. There was no sign on it saying that it was tested. So. I could very well get home and find out it does not even work. I, I guess I should really come down from my, my high, right? So anyway, we are here at the uh, the post office now. Like I said, I have packages that need to be sent out, and I think there's at least one, maybe maybe possibly two packages waiting for me here at the uh, the post office. I think there's one thing definitely here, and then there's another package that was supposed to have shown up already. So it should, in theory be here so um all right let's go drop off some packages and see what if anything hopefully is uh is waiting for me oh yeah all right so um <laughs> so packages have have definitely arrived for me i um like i said i was expecting one of them one of them is definitely the the package i knew was going to be here the other package is um the one that i i thought should have already shown up so all, all right but then there's two international packages I don't know what those are. I'm I'm very excited to see. They're actually kind of they're kind of heavy. And <laughs> like I said, there's two of them, so I have no idea what is inside those packages. I believe they're from a viewer. So, all right, um, let's see what it is that I that I have um, that I have received. Uh, these, again, these are very heavy. I'm really excited to see what it is I'm I'm holding here in my my hand. All right, so like I said, I'm not entirely sure as to um, to what it is I have I have received. So let's get you guys set up there. All right, so there are there are four packages here, one of which I know what is inside, one of which I I knew was coming, but I don't know what's inside. I don't remember, and then two that are are mysteries. So um, we've got the the ever lovely cinnamon here. Let's dive into these and find out what exactly it is that, uh, again, that I, I have received. All right, so the uh, the first package here, this I this I know w what it is. This actually comes from my mom. This is my Christmas present from my mom uh, this year. She asked um, if there was anything I wanted, what it would be that I would want. And I said, you know what? There actually is something I've been wanting to get my hands on. She said, I'll order it for you. This is so cool. It's the ALF. Uh, the Complete Series Deluxe Edition. This comes with pretty much everything ALF. Let's see. Um, includes every hilarious episode, including restored footage not seen since their original broadcast, ALF the Animated Series, ALF Tales, which was the other animated series, Project ALF, ALF's 1996 TV movie, uh, new A Look Back at ALF with creator yada yada yada, and um, ALF on ALF audio commentaries. This is amazing. This is everything ALF that's out there for the most part. This is so cool. 
Yeah, I've really been wanting to get my hands on this ever since I first heard this was coming out. I do already have the entire series of ALF on DVD, and I have um, whatever ALF, the animated series, and ALF Tales DVDs they put out, but they weren't the complete series. So pretty cool to have the complete everything of ALF right here in my hands, and the ALF movie as well, Project, Project ALF. That is so cool. This is awesome. Mom, thank you for my, uh, my Christmas present. This is amazing. Really happy to, to have this. All right, so the next package here, this coming from Mill Creek Entertainment. I, um, I knew this was coming. I just, I can't remember what it is that, um, that they were sending me. I have like an idea of maybe what it is, but I think I actually already, already received that. So I don't know what, I don't know what this is. I'm not entirely sure. That's how it goes with these companies. They say, hey, do you want to review this new thing we have coming out? And I say, yes, I do. And then like a month later, it shows up. And by then I've already completely forgotten what it is they asked me if I wanted to um to review so we have okay no I all right I didn't know what this was this is Ultraman this is um Ultraman versus Alien uh Baltan if I'm saying that right um Ultraman Kaiju series two this is cool 11 episodes um plus two movies so this is really really cool check that out some more Ultraman for my collection. Um, they just keep kind of like re-releasing sort of, sort of some of these things. Um, featuring Ultraman, uh, Return of Ultraman, The Ultraman, Ultraman 80, Ultraman Max, Ultraman Kids, Ultraman X the Movie, and uh, Ultraman Cosmos the First Contact. So pretty awesome. These are, I believe, just a bunch of um, kaiju battles and whatnot. Um, I guess uh, him versus um, Alien Baltan, if I'm saying that right, uh, from all these different series. So pretty awesome. If you're a big fan of um, Ultraman, and you enjoy watching him battle just like one specific enemy or something like that, then um, these are pretty cool to have. So that's awesome that uh, Mill Creek sent that to me. Thank you so much. Another uh, Ultraman title for my for my collection that's all currently down in uh, in Florida. I'll just take this down there and add it to my my collection. So very awesome, very cool. That's that's amazing. So if you're looking to get your hands on this, I don't think there's paperwork now, but I oh but uh, no, but I believe this has already been. Um, been released. It's already available. So if you're looking to get your hands on this from Mill Creek, you can already, already pick this up. So that is awesome. That is so cool. On Blu-ray as well. That is amazing. I don't actually see any special features on here. Um, I don't believe so, but still very cool. Very awesome. Mill Creek. Thank you for, for sending this to me. Looking forward to checking out all these awesome battles. Okay. So now on to the mystery packages. I don't know what the, I don't know what is inside here. I'm a little curious though. It's making some weird noises. I'm um, all right. Um, this comes from Jason. Uh, yeah, Jason. Um, looks like, is it Canada? Is that where, no wait, where are these from? I have no idea. They said they were international. I had to sign for these. Um, Canada, yeah. Th this comes from the Great White North. Again, I don't know what is inside these packages. I have no idea, but it looks like there is a note. A note, uh, Dave, sending you a few um, things I hope might be of interest to you, uh, either for your collection or for your store. Greatly enjoy your channels, uh, Retro Rest Stop and Cinema Sickness as well. My girlfriend, Elizabeth, enjoys your um, your true oh true crime videos. I uh, got to do some more of those. Um, uh, and historical ones, why I tend to like the thrifting ones. Awesome, I'm glad I, I can... Uh, have you guys enjoyed different things? That's what I like about this channel. It's kind of just whatever I want. It's historical. It's thrifting. It's just, it's whatever I feel like doing. Um, but, do, 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 but I still look forward to your daily videos. Uh, they are a bright spot in my day. Thanks, viewer Jason and Elizabeth. So let's see what Jason and Elizabeth have um, sent from, from Canada. Oh, this is the thing that was making the noise. Spearmint lumps. Look at these. Yeah, that was the sound I was hearing. Spearmint lumps. Okay. That's cool. I'll have to, to check those out. Eat, eat some of those. Uh, we've got um, Long Way North on um, on DVD. I don't know what this is. Never heard of. Uh, never heard of that. Oh wow! Some VHS dinosaurs. 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 That's really cool. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, Alien Intruder. Very cool with some Billy D. Williams. I've never seen that. Awesome. I'll have to check that one out. Uh, then we got. No, oh my gosh, Wildcats. That is so cool. Cry of the Cobra. I I think I have like one other Wildcats VHS in my collection. I don't have that. That is really, really cool. That is awesome. Great, uh, 
comic book and great on the series. Uh, Guilty as Sim, Army of One, some Dolph Lundgren there. Um, sincerely, Snook. I don't even know who Snook is. I'm guessing that's stand-up. I've never heard of Snook. Then we've got, uh, what is this? This is, um, oh, Dean Martin in The Silencers and uh, The Wrecking Crew. Cool box set. Brand new factory sealed. That is an awesome, awesome set right there. I love the uh, the checkerboard and just the, the whole, like, 1960s look at that. That is really cool. And there are a couple of um, DVDs here as well. Things like uh, Amazons and Gladiators. Second best. I've never seen that, but I'm intrigued by that one. H.G. Uh, Wells, War of the Worlds. Oh, a documentary. That is cool. All right. Definitely checking that out. Uh, Bounty Killer, Point of Origin, Mammoth, <laughs> nice, and um, films by Michael um, Adenat, uh, yeah, that, I'm not sure how you say his last name, I don't know who that is, uh, I'll have to check this out as well, so very cool, very awesome, um, thank you guys, but that's not it, I believe, there's another package here, and I think, yeah, it looks like it's from... Uh, from Jason and uh, Elizabeth as well. All right, so the second package here, also from um, Jason and Elizabeth from uh, from Canada. Let's see what's inside this one here again. I, I don't believe I knew they were sending these to me. I don't. I don't remember being con. Oh, how am I gonna get this open? I don't remember being contacted about this. I, I mean, I may have. I have a terrible memory. Um, people contact me all the time, and then I just forget that something's gonna show up. But I don't know. This is this is interesting. Whoa! All right, we got. Another note. <laughs> this one says, Hey Dave, hope you enjoy this little box of goodies uh, slash oddities, either for your collection or for your store. Best of WWF videos are a must watch if you're into the 80s wrestling uh, fan. In my opinion, um, 20 volume, or in my opinion, 20 volumes came out from Columbia Video along with dozens of other tapes. The commentary um, and interviews might be the best part. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for the entertaining videos, uh, day after day. All the best viewers, Jason and Elizabeth. So there's some WWF in here. Nice. Okay. All right. So first up, we have another, or no, this is SWAT cats. I was going to say it's more, um, it's more of the, um, what was it? Uh, <laughs> Okay, so the second package here is indeed from Jason and Elizabeth from Canada as well. So I, again, I don't know what is inside here. I honestly don't remember anybody contacting me about this, but I, I have a really bad memory and a lot of people contact me throughout the week. So people all the time say, I'm going to send you this, I'm going to send you that. And then I just, I forget my, my 40 year old memory is, um, is not so great. So maybe they did contact me. I don't remember, but this is awesome. This is amazing. And we have another, a note. This one says, um, Dear Dave, hope you enjoy this little box of goodies slash oddities, either for your collection or for your store. The best of WWF videos are a must watch if you're into 80s wrestling, um, if you're, or if you're an 80s wrestling fan as I am. Um, 20 volumes came out from Columbia Video along with dozens of other tapes. The commentary and interviews might be the best part. Nice. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for the entertaining uh, videos day after day. All the best viewers, Jason and Elizabeth. So that's really, really cool. So, oh my gosh. All right. We got some SWAT cats. Nice. Love SWAT cats. This is a great uh, Hanna-Barbera, like a late Hanna-Barbera cartoon series from the uh, from the 90s. That was so fantastic. If you guys have seen that, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, then we got Lady Dragon 2, some Cynthia Rothrock. I don't have that. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Great movie. Uh, love at First Bite. That is cool. Look at that artwork. That is fantastic. Uh, then we've got um, The Devil and Max Devlin. Okay, I've heard of this. I've never seen the movie, though, so that's cool. Penitentiary 2. Nice. Um, this is uh, Kill... Yeah, Kill Line. I God, man, movies... So many movies I haven't seen. I've never seen that one. Uh, Charlie, The Lonesome Cougar. Okay, nice. That was Disney, right? Uh, yeah, this is put off Anchor Bay, but that was a Disney movie. Uh, then we have Charlie, which I've also never seen. Is this, um, this is not Disney. Also Anchor Bay, but doesn't look like it's Disney. I'm not familiar with this fil film though. Um, number one with a bullet, some cannon. Awesome. I don't think I have that either. 
in my collection. And oh, High Spirits. That's a good one right there. That is that is awesome. Uh, then we also have uh, Master of Horror. This is um, this is Lucky um, Lucky McKee with um, with Sick Girl. Haven't seen that one. And then we also got the drop box. Oh, don't throw them away. Bring them here. So this is a movie, I guess, a documentary all about those um, those uh, drop boxes they do in different countries. We I don't know if we have them here in the United States. I think France has them. Uh, looks like South Korea has them as well, where if you don't want to keep your baby, you put them into this like box that keeps them warm and whatnot. And then somebody comes by and um, and they'll take them and... and um, put them into an orphanage or, or whatever. Um, that's pretty interesting. I'll have, to, I'll have to check that out. That's cool. Looks looks sad, but I'll definitely check that out. And then we've got WWF videos. I don't know if I have any of these. I I know I know I have some of these Columbia releases. I don't know if I have any of these though. I'm, I would have to double check. Uh, this one here being Hulkamania, brother. <laughs> that is cool. Oh my gosh. There's the Iron Sheik back there. Didn't he just pass away? I think he did. Um, that's cool. Um, then we got Best of the WWF Volume 3. That is so cool. These are great. I, I love these. And then we've got um, the Best of WWF Volume 11. Wow, they put a lot of these out. That is so, so cool. There's Rowdy Roddy Piper on the back there. Look at that. Yeah, these are awesome. These are so cool. Definitely digging these. And they were they were released by, or uh, looks like you could rent these at one point. I guess by a &H Video. That's so cool. <laughs> All right, so um, these are these are awesome. Yeah, I, I, I think I maybe I, I I don't think I have these. I might have the Hulkamania one. I'm gonna double check on that. I don't know. Maybe I don't. But I don't have these. That's cool. So. Wow, um, because it was uh, Jason and Elizabeth. Thank you so much for all the awesome tapes and the DVDs and the um, the Spearmint lumps. Definitely gonna be munching on those after I um, after I get some lunch. But wow, awesome, awesome stuff. Thank you so much. And uh, Mill Creek, thank you for the uh, the kaiju. I appreciate that. And uh, my mom and, and stepdad, uh, mom and Jim. Thank you so much for uh, for the Alf. I appreciate that as well. But all right, um, like I said, I. I do need lunch though. I need lunch so I, I have a reason to eat these. I don't want to eat that much sugar first thing in first thing in the well the late afternoon. But anyway, I'm gonna go get some lunch and then probably gonna call today quits because again I have so much stuff to do at home. All right, lunch has been obtained, and of course, of course we're back at uh, we're back at BK. We're back at Burger King. What what else would I be getting? I mean, unless. I was anywhere near that pizza place, Bravo Pizza, I was at yesterday. If I was, I'd probably be getting something from them. Ooh, a cheesesteak. Or just a, just, a, just a steak sandwich. Sounds actually pretty good right now. But you know what? Sodas, chicken fries, and, and hamburgers. And I told myself I was going to order a, a water. And then I placed my order. And after I placed my order and they handed me the cup, I realized, oh, why did I, I said soda, not not water. That was actually a legit mistake. I, I honestly meant to order a water but i but i didn't but all right guys that's gonna do it for today i'm gonna eat my food i'm gonna go home i'm gonna get some more errands and things i have to get done done some more packing done as well so all right guys with that we are done fun day of uh, thrifting and unboxing some cool stuff today very happy with uh with my haul today awesome stuff that you guys have sent me things that mill creek sent me stuff my my mom and stepdad sent me things i found from goodwill all in all a good day and man that that playstation too I'm looking forward to getting home and testing that out. First thing I'm doing when I get home is testing that out. I do have some PS2 games in my store that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop in there and make sure they work. So, all right, guys, that is going to do it. So, like I said, thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also, check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts. Proceeds both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon do help support the show. They keep the show going. Brings, brings us out to awesome and amazing places. I'm, I'm salivating. I'm really hungry. Brings us out to awesome and amazing places. So I really do appreciate the support. And if you guys watch this video all the way until the very end, hashtag $20 PlayStation. Hashtag $20 PlayStation. If you watch this video all the way until the very end. But all right, guys, good. that's going to do it. So like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, not sponsored by, by Burger King, but I should be. If you do hit that subscribe button, then I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. Bye. <laughs>